Hi guys, I received a query in about Revit syncs, uh, the sync families that come out of the box, uh, and how they, when you place them on top of a countertop, they don't cut into the counter, obviously, they, they, so it doesn't make any sense when you look at it in 3D, right? So you can't, uh, the, the, you need to have a hole or a void in the countertop. Uh, so the query was to, for a solution to this, and I'm going to show you how to do that. Basically, we need to edit the family and put it into a face-based family. Uh, uh, which has a void in it that cuts whatever face it's uh, applied to. Okay, so we'll edit that family, select the, the sink, edit family, then go to file and create a new family. And scroll down to metric generic model face based. Okay, like that. And um, we're going to just save this as a new family uh, i'll just save as family one that's fine okay so i'll go back into the sync family and i'm going to load this and close okay load it into the family that we just uh, saved so family one obviously you should give it a different name uh, that describes what it is okay do i want to save the sync no no need okay so place that there anywhere and i'm going to align and lock it to the center of the x and y plane if you have a reason why you want to lock it to the front or the back or whatever then do that but it makes sense for me to lock it to the centers okay now i need to go into a an elevation to lock the sink to the the surface as well so i'll go into a front view and I'm going to lock the underside of my sink there, the, of the, the top lip. I'm going to lock that to the reference plane on our surface. Okay, line, lock. Okay, so align and then lock. Okay, now back into the plan view. So I'm going to create some constraints to insert a void into that into this 3D geometry here so we can cut through it. Uh, so I'll just put it, I'm going to put in reference planes, but this doesn't have to be parametric because these sinks are not parametric, uh, generally speaking, they're one size. So we're just going to find the right dimension and then lock it at that. Okay. Uh, so we equaled, and again, you can be a bit more scientific about the exact measurement if you want, but something halfway between the inside edge of the sink to the, to the edge of the lip is, is fine with me. Okay. And I'm going to put a dimension on that. Okay. Similarly, I'm going to mention these. Select my reference plane, just nudge it a little. Select the dimension and lock. Do the same with this guy. It's probably fine where it is actually. Uh, select it and lock. Now, again, you can be more precise. You can look at that in section and get an exact measurement that suits, but this is going to work fine. Right, so we're going to create a void extrusion right so in the, in the create tab void forms click void extrusion and pick line lock is selected okay i'm going to pick my reference planes that i just created and then i'm going to use my trim to corners to trim to corners okay and then click okay now i'll go into my front elevation and pull the bottom down Geometry. I'm going to pull the top. Actually, I'll align that. I'll use my align tool. Tab to find the reference plane, align, and lock. You can put a depth to this, uh, but honestly, just I'm going to leave it like that. You could put a depth to it, but uh, our, our countertops are only ever going to be something between like 35 and 100 millimeters. So something like that is fine. Okay. So sticking in 3D so where you can see it. And in our modify tab, using the cut tool, select cut. More, they select the void and then select the geometry. Okay, so we have a cut through that 3D geometry. Okay, see it there from above as well. Now, one other thing we need to do is we need to change the category of this from a generic face based model to a plumbing um, family so that uh, it uh, reports and so on correctly in the Revit model and the Revit project. So, up here. Family categories and parameters, click into that and find plumbing fixtures. Select that and OK. 
All right. So now it's a plumbing fixture. It's not a generic model anymore. So save. Load into project and close. And we have a couple of options here. If you do it in plan view, you'll have another one, but use the place on face. Okay. And you can see that the, the countertop is selected there. Okay. There it is. Cuts the counter. Brilliant. And if you select again, you'll see that it's a plumbing fixture because we changed the category. So I'm sure you can find plenty of ways to apply the same reasoning and logic to a bunch of other uh, problems as well. Uh, give it a try and uh, enjoy. <laughs>